Hey guys, so today's review is of Bite Beauty. Bite Beauty has been in the press everywhere. I feel like it's totally a brand that's in the buzz and of course it's one of Sephora's exclusive retail partners. The brand has been doing amazing and I finally had to get on board. So I went to Sephora earlier this week and I picked up a few lovely shades for summer and I'm so excited to share them with you. But before I unbox these bad boys, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Bite Beauty. Bite Beauty is actually a Toronto-based beauty brand and they primarily offer lip products. So lipsticks, lip crayons, um, lip glosses and also lip primer and they also have a beautiful lip mask which I also checked out at Sephora but I didn't get with me this time around. That will be next on the list. What I really love about this brand is it falls into the clean and natural and organic beauty category. So they actually use all natural, food grade, clean ingredients throughout the Amuse Bouche lipstick line, which is what I have here. There are 34 shades total. And what's really cool about this is the ingredients are of course food grade, organic and natural. So the percentages of natural ingredients vary or organic ingredients, but they're actually listed with an asterisk at the back of the packaging. So you'll find which ingredients are exactly organic in the back and also too, they use over 12 essential oils, or about 12 essential oils that are also of food grade quality, which essentially makes these lipsticks super nourishing. And I can t attest to that because when I try them on and I swipe them at Sephora, they all just felt so silky going on, creamy, smooth, and well pigmented. Um, some of the oils that they actually have in, infused into the Amuse Bouge lipsticks are sunflower seed, coconut oil, shea butter, they also have pomegranate and avocado oil. And all of the lipstick pigments are triple milled, which means you get really great color payoff, comfort, and wear. Okay, so for all my vegans out there, Unfortunately, these are not vegan lipsticks. They do use beeswax, but this brand is paraben, phthalate, and also sulfate free. Okay, so here we go. Let's get to unboxing. So I only got two shades this time around, and I just kind of wanted to test them out. I wanted to get some really pretty shades for spring and summer. Um, I tend to go light on my lips. I don't really do a red for every day or even when I go out. So the first shade that I purchased is meringue. Okay, so I love the bullets that these come in. They're super sleek. It's a matte packaging, and it has a nice clickable tube, so it gets securely in there, and it doesn't seem like you're going to lose the top of the case from the bottom in your bag, which is great. Okay, so this is meringue, and this is just gorgeous. This is kind of just like a peachy nude. I think it's great for every day. I'm going to swatch a bit on the back of my hand. Okay, so I guess it's a little bit more like a pinky peachy nude. Okay, so really great color payoff. Beautiful concentrated pigment. And now I'm gonna show you guys how this looks like on the lips. So let me just grab my mirror. And what I love about lipstick, I'm usually a gloss girl, so you don't really find me wearing lipstick a lot, but I'm starting to change over. I love these because you could build up the coverage. Now I could tell that these really go on nicely and I could build it up. Okay, so this is definitely more of like a everyday pinky nude. I'm just gonna do a light layer and tap over the lips, okay? I could probably build this up a little bit more if I wanted to, um, but what I love too is the tip of the lipstick bullet has a really lovely edge so I can kind of shape and fill in my lips as I apply. The texture, of course, as I imagine, super smooth and silky. And also, the scent is phenomenal. It kind of has this pomegranate citrus scent with maybe a hint of vanilla. Really great. Um, if you're adverse to fragrances, there is fragrance in here. I do believe it's a natural fragrance, and it's mostly due to the essential oils found in here, and I think a lot of it comes from the pomegranate oil. So, super silky going on. I think these really give nice coverage too. You could definitely build this up. So this will definitely be my go-to everyday pinky nude lip color. 
um, super wearable and I imagine that this looks really good on most skin tones. If you do have a deeper complexion, this might be a little bit too pale for your skin, but if you have a very fair, fair light to medium complexion, this color will be gorgeous on you. Okay, so as I remove this one, I'm gonna go ahead and check out the next shade that I got. Be right back. Okay, so I've removed meringue all the way off. I've even taken a little bit of concealer and re-prepped my lips so my lip area is completely neutral to show you guys the true effect of the color. The next shade that I purchased is Ginger Snap. So Ginger Snap, when I swiped it at Sephora, looked like just a really pretty peachy coral pink. So this is definitely up my alley. This is normally as bright as I go unless that rare occasion comes up that I am wearing a red or maybe like a deep burgundy lip, but that's a little bit more in fall. So, okay, I'm gonna swipe this right next to Meringue. So here's Ginger Snap and it is gorgeous. It's kind of like that beautiful peachy pink coral. I love, love both of these. Okay, so now let's see it on the lips. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the center, blend it out. Really great pigment and color payoff right away. Wow. This would look really pretty with like a really bronzy eye. I have some plum shadow on right now, so I don't know if it matches it exactly. But this is gorgeous. Okay, so this is Ginger Snap. I think this is such a gorgeous color for summer and spring. Um, on me, it just, I feel like it brightens up my complexion. And it's kind of like that pretty poppy pink shade. Um, and it feel like makes my eyes look a little bit brighter too. So this is the brighter shade. This is Ginger Snap. So here are the two right here on my hand. And once again, I'll give you guys a little com tube comparison. So here's Meringue. Okay, that's a close-up and this is ginger snap okay so this is your great everyday nude pink this is your bump up color this is your pretty poppy coral pink color really pretty for a little bit more of a pop both of these are gorgeous and now I can't wait to start building up on the additional 32 shades that they have so I'm gonna take it slow though these are a good start so I'm going to list all the details about these colors down below including some of the ingredients key ingredients and what is not included in the ingredients for all of those ingredient conscious folks out there and also too I'm going to send a link down to where you could purchase this product Sephora is an exclusive partner, so it's online at Sephora, and um, I believe they have a listing of some of the doors that they sell the products in. They sell the lipstick brand, I think, in a lot of different doors across the country, so you shouldn't have a problem going into the store and actually swiping and trying on the products, because I think the majority of them carry it. But I hope you guys enjoy this review, and I can't wait to try more of these lipsticks. These are the Amuse Bouge lipsticks, 34 shades, and they retail for... I believe they are $26, a little pricey, but definitely well worth it. So hope you enjoyed this review and have a lovely day. Bye guys.